Hi, brothers and sisters. Um, the Lord wanted me to share some encouragement, read some verses to encourage um, my brethren. And before I do so really quick, I, I wanted to say that I have different messages for different groups of people at times. You know, um, you know, some of them are warnings for those who are asleep and, and disobedient. And, you know, the Lord says we have to um, just be obedient to him and, and do what he wants us to do. But so this message is just going to be me sharing and talking. And um, yeah, so I'll start reading. Um, it's Matthew 5. And it's the Beatitudes. And seeing the multitudes, he, Jesus, went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. <coughs> Excuse me. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be, obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad because great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may glorify, I mean that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I'll stop there. But that is such a wonderful, encouraging passage in scripture that we can all take heart because I know that the enemy is really angry in these very, very last days and wants to wreak as much havoc as he can on the true children of God. So I want to encourage you that we are blessed if any of these things apply to you, you are blessed. And um, what else did the Lord want me to share? Yeah, like we need to keep encouraging one another, the body of Christ. Um, you know, we are scattered and the scripture says we are few. And, um, but we are mighty in the Lord. We are mighty in the Lord. Um, I hope you've had a blessed day. Um, I pray for all my brethren. I do. Um, I was a little sick today. I got attacked last night. I felt just, I, I barely slept. So you can keep praying for my health. And it's kind of unusual for me to be led to be make, to make so many videos because I know the Lord is calling me to because it's not what I have done in the past. I haven't done, I've steadily been on here for three years, but the Lord hasn't called me to make videos like almost every other day or you know what I mean? So it's it's very new for me and I just want to be obedient. So pray for me that I can be obedient so that I can encourage you. I mean, if he has me make a video every day, even if it's not my natural preference, I want to be faithful and do it. So um, hang in there, friends. Hang in there. Jesus loves you. Jesus is so mighty. What else did I just read with my daughter that, that will encourage you? Um, Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians. Um, oops, yeah, I'm in the right one. I have my Bible here. We read a lot, but what was it? Do you remember that verse that, oh, the Lord, okay, so this is like a prayer that Paul was praying. And it's in Thessalonians 3, 12. 
And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you, to the end that he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness before God, even our Father, at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. He wants to establish us unblameable. And at the very end, he says, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that, that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. God's word is so magnificent. And you know, Satan's going to be, what he's trying to do is he's trying to tempt us right now. Okay, he is trying to tempt us in any way he can, distract us. Yes, we're being hard pressed. The more hard, hard pressed we are, the more we need to, it's a test to lean hard on his word, to rely hard on the Holy Spirit, to rely hard on, not on our own understanding, but on the Lord. Um, to not to just let go of our old ways, let go of our old temptations, let go of our old sins. And a verse I wrote on Google Plus today, um, if you want to find it on my phone, um, yeah, pray for me. You know, Paul asked for prayer that he would speak the word of God boldly. I am by nature kind of shy, and I really honestly did not want to come on YouTube. I mean, I'm friendly in like small groups. Being really public, honestly, in my flesh, scares me to death, okay? The Lord, the Lord has called me, okay? I have not called myself. So pray for me that, you know, like Paul asked, pray for boldness, that I would declare the word of God boldly. I do submit to him, but we all need prayer because we're all weak on our own, and we're not perfect, like I said before. Um, here's another wonderful verse for you, Psalms 143.10. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Hallelujah, what a wonderful verse to be obedient. You know, we, we just want to be so sparkly, clean, white, without blemish. Jesus is about to call us on the clouds. He is. The scripture, the rapture is very real, okay? I have had such a hard time for a long time I didn't believe in the rapture. The last, only the last three years, Three and a half years has God opened my eyes to the truth of the rapture for the holy brethren. The bride of Christ, the mystery of the bride of Christ. And yes, yeah, Satan tries to make me doubt. He tries to make me doubt the, the rapture all the time. Because, you know, oh, it's, you know, we've been waiting so long. Oh, it's not going to happen. Oh, this, oh, that. And Jesus always shows me verses and shows me things and encourage. It's our blessed hope. So let no man take our blessed hope. Let us just, Jesus is our, our blessed hope. Hallelujah. Lift up your eyes to the hills. Lift, let's lift up our eyes. And um, just to encourage you to keep walking in holiness, um, all of us, and the verse that God had me share on Google+. Plus, and, and like I said, God is asking me to step out of my box and be more public. And it's hard for me. But I don't want to trust in myself. I want to be obedient to the Lord. Because we are, like I just read, we're not, we're not going to hide our light. We're going to shine our light. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. We will not be silent. And the, the body of Christ, the true brethren, we are one. We are one. And yeah, there's many multitudes on the broad road. But... Um, you know, the brethren are on the narrow, are on the narrow road. Uh, and the verse, please check the description box because I don't want to take like two hours here and waste your time trying to find this verse um, that I posted today. But I think it's really relevant for us all. And I have so much to say. And I, please pray for me for this ministry because I'm telling you, the Lord wants me to speak. The Lord has given me a lot, and I have to be faithful to be obedient. And by God's grace, I will. Satan is opposing me like crazy. He's trying to stop me. He's trying to stop all his children. It's all about him. 
It's all about Jesus. It's all for his. I'm just sharing tidbits here to encourage you. Beware false teachers. Um, they're all over the place. One example would be like the Shack book that all these people are flocking to. And its authors. And they, its authors had tricked me many years back almost. Like eight years ago. And they're teaching heresy. So beware of that. Just beware of the world in general. And, and God's children, you know, some are, are more awake than others. Please wake up quickly. Please love Jesus with all your heart. And we are called to obey the commandments, Jesus' words, okay? We are called to obey Jesus' words by the Spirit. And I'm not going to get into all the details of that. I am not a legalist. I don't follow the law. If you watch my channel, I, am, I don't, I don't want to get into it too much because it can cause all this controversy. But what I wanted to say is, we are called to obey what Jesus said, and I need to make a video on the false teachings that are that have been coming up because it's really important, and I'm going to share that. I'm going to do it by God's grace. Jesus in me is going to do it. Satan is really opposing me, so please pray for me. Like I said, I, I last night I like didn't sleep well. I didn't feel good today. I, I struggle. I mean, a lot of us have some health stuff, you know, especially with all the chemtrails and stuff. Please, let's keep praying for each other for for our health and I'm talking kind of fast because um, I only have 15 minutes on these videos um, like the little program that I have is only 15 minutes and it's better that to keep them short I think um, because you know you can say a lot in a short period of time but I'll leave you with the last verse since I have it here on my phone and it is found in, come on, and time is short, that's why we're all just like kind of rushed a little bit, it's like, let's, I mean, not rushed, but you know, like, we want to just get what we need to get out when we need to get it out, but it's, goodness, it was in Matthew 5, oh, I didn't read that, for, that far, sorry, I, I maybe should have read more, but here it is, if your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away for it is better that you lose one of the parts of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell and if your right hand causes you to sin cut it off and throw it away for it is better that you lose one of the parts of your of your body for it is better that you lose one of the parts of your body than for your whole body to go into hell Jesus' teachings still stand okay the spirit is going to obey Jesus' teachings. That's what I said on my last video, that the, the lukewarm mainstream churches, very few rare, like one in 300 or one in like 500 might teach this. And please obey God's word and beware the mainstream church unless they're truly teaching and living the truth. Um, Jesus is awesome, he's wonderful, he's wonderful, and he's coming, and he's setting apart his people. God bless you, thank you for watching and listening, and share if you feel led. Have a good evening.